Good morning everyone and it is a good morning. Uh, happy Thursday. It's uh, it's all good news. I'm doing a little bit of a news update for you. Uh, there's not too much to run through. A few little bits of news from the UK in particular. Uh, but we're going to start where we always do uh, with the current Covid figures. We did have an increase here a few weeks ago. It did go a little bit out of control. Thankfully now it is coming back down slowly but steadily. And we had 800 new cases in the islands yesterday. Uh, of those, Tenerife 375, Gran Canaria 362, Fuerteventura 35, La Palma 12, Lanzarote 10, La Gamera 3 and El Hierro 3. So you can see that decrease now. On the last update, Tenerife had I think double that. So it is coming down. With that, good news as well, the vaccine is still going very strong. Uh, as I mentioned last time, we did overtake um, the UK for the double vaccinated. That's for the whole of Spain. Uh, we, we are slightly ahead of the UK now for double vaccinated uh, in terms of percentage wise. So the total administered now is 2,598,451 doses. And the fully immunised is over a million now, 62%. So absolutely fantastic news there. Uh, Vaccine-wise, cases coming down, which is great. We have got a bit of a grip on it now. It was getting a bit out of control uh, those couple of weeks ago. So a uh, little bit of better news in terms of that. The other good news is that Spain and the Canaries, including Tenerife, have stayed on the UK Amber list. They've scrapped the Amber Watch list, the Amber Plus list, which was a load of nonsense anyway. So we've stayed Amber, which is great. So that means from the UK, if you want to travel to Tenerife, all you'll need is your Spanish QR code. You'll need to show if you are fully vaccinated at least 14 days prior to travel. So you'd need your COVID certificate. If you haven't been fully vaccinated, you can travel with a PCR test, um, which you can get at home. I think they're around £90 at the moment. So you can travel to Tenerife or the Canaries or Spain with a PCR test if you're not fully vaccinated. Again, that can be no more than 72 hours before you travel for that test. So you'll travel with that, with your Spanish QR code. If you've got children, that only applies to children over the age of 12. So, as I understand it, uh, 12 and over do need to have either the PCR test, uh, well, it would be the PCR test or vaccination eventually. Uh, I don't think we're on to the kids yet. Uh, so, yeah, then you'll come through. They'll let you through at the airport. You can have a great time like a lot of the people are. It is getting busy and busy here. Come and have a great time. Have fun. Then returning home to the UK, you would need an antigen test or they are now urging and recommending a PCR test. Now, they are only recommending it, so it's not mandatory. Take that as you will. It's recommended, but you don't have to. So you can have either an antigen or a PCR test to travel back to the UK. You'll need that no more than 72 hours old again. You'll show that at the airport. You'll need to fill in the UK traveler locator form as well which is free, same as the Spanish QR code, that one's free, you'll fill that in as well. Jump on your flight back, land at home, show that traveller form, show the uh, negative test result, and then that's it, you're through. The only other thing you'll need to show and need to have is a second day PCR test booked and paid for. You can find them online. A few people have found them for even about 40 or 50 pounds. So do just shop around. I will leave the links in the description for most of these things, like the, the QR codes, the traveler forms. It sounds very complicated. It's not as bad as it sounds. It's a few tests and a couple of free forms to fill in. A lot of people are happy to do that. So yeah, they did recommend for Spain that it was a PCR test, but it is only a recommendation. I'm not saying to do either, uh, but it is only a recommendation. A few people have asked me where can I get these PCR tests, the antigen tests. You can get them all in the same places. So if they're doing antigen tests, they'll be doing PCR tests as well. Just depends what you ask for and what you book. 
Uh, I've been recommending most people go to the one in Los Cristianos by the bus station now. Much quieter. Again, I'll leave the link in the description for that one. It's a very similar price to the one here at the Arona Gran, but a bit more pleasant, a lot more organized. There's a nicer waiting area. There's seating inside in the air conditioning. Uh, and if you want to, there is a little cafe next door. You can have a coffee and the results are coming out in about 30 minutes max. So I have been recommending that one by the bus station. But there is quite a few around. You can shop around again as well. A few different prices and things like that. I know for an antigen testing, that one is 36 euros. And in other bits of news, it is getting busy. As I said, a lot of new bar of, uh, bars and restaurants are opening up again in Los Cristianos. The likes of the Mongolian, a couple of other bars have opened again. And I think now we have this news, now that we are going to stay amber. From what I've heard, speaking to other business owners and things, they are going to now start to reopen, take staff back on. I think we are going to see a nice steady increase here now. Things opening, people coming over. What we needed was the steadiness. So it's busy, but we needed a bit of steady, a bit of, you know, a surety to, to know what's going on to then you know allow businesses to take staff back on and make commitments so I do think in the next week or so we are going to see a lot more things open a lot more people arriving a lot more people booking now they know it's still amber and they know that the amber watch and amber plus and all that is gone highly unlikely that we'll go red I really hope not in the future the rates are on the way down Spain doing fantastic with the vaccination so I think if anything we'll be looking to go green in the future so it does give everyone that bit of a surety to take staff back on make more commitments which is fantastic it's it really is getting busy which is absolutely great to see that is me done there isn't much other news to run through really just that little update there i hope that does help a lot of you in general with these rates coming down it's great news for everyone the likes of germany who had us on a bit of a watch list things like that we should start to come off these lists now as the rates drop so all very very good news so with that being said hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up drop your comments are you now going to book have you booked let me know i do like to see a lot of people were hanging on and they're probably going to be online booking now shopping around there is going to be a bit of a buzz about the place today i think so thank you very much for watching hit that subscribe I will leave those links in the description. There's loads of videos on this channel of Tenerife and things to do. So do check out the channel as well. And uh, stride on. Hope to see you here soon.